slow motion and fast motion are very common things that we need to do inside the video editing world. They're common tasks that every one of us needs to have access to, no matter what kind of video that we're doing. We might want to slow things down or speed things up, but we're always doing temporal changes in various aspects of our video. There's a number of ways we can do this in Vegas, and we're going to look at all of them real quickly. Here's your next fast tip from Vast. I've got a clip playing here of a, a mountain bike and a, a uh, camera mounted on the side of the bike and I want to slow this down. Now the first way that I can slow this down is to simply right click my piece of media, go to insert remove envelope and choose velocity. And that gives me this green line that you can see right here. Just simply by dragging that line down you can see a percentage there. So now we're seeing that slowed down to 24%, quite a bit slower. We'll take it down even further. Now we're at uh, 17 percent. Now this is also variable so let's put it back up to normal or reset the envelope there and let's just put in a couple of nodes and let's gradually slow this down so that's a time ramp and we're going to slow this down to say 31 percent. Gradually slows down there it is. It might be that we want to rewind something and take it all the way back so let's just set it up so it's going to rewind by double clicking the node and dragging it all the way to the bottom so that it's playing backwards at 100 percent of speed and now we're going to see it go backwards and there's our clip moving backwards so, and we can also set these ramps up over time in other words we can give them a curve so let's just pull this one down we'll right click that node and we're going to change that so that it's a slow fade or set it up so that it's a, a fairly fast fade you can see the node change there so here's one method of doing fast motion and slow motion inside of the Vegas software. So let's remove that envelope. So let's go to insert remove envelope and undo the velocity. Next, let's right click it and go to properties. And in here we've got a playback rate uh, dialog. And so let's set this playback rate in here up to uh, 0.50. There we go. Now we're playing back at half speed. So it's at, at a much slower speed there. So that's the next way that we can do that. Notice that there's a little zigzag line that appears in here. That is telling us that we're in a, a time altered mode or we've temporally altered the file. Let's undo that by hitting control Z. And let's look at one last way that we can do this. Now this next method doesn't work when you're trying to fit a clip into a space of, of uh, time. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on the left side or the right side of the clip, hold down the control key and drag. And notice you still see that same zigzag line that we saw just a moment ago. Well, now we're running it at slow motion. The problem with this particular method is, is it doesn't work very well with fit to fill. In other words, if we've got a clip that's in a particular space. So let's just quickly look at how we might use that differently. Let's undo it so that we're looking at only a specific range here. We're going to right click, go into our properties, set our properties up at let's say uh, 0.3. So it's a little slower. Great. So now we've got, got that playing back at 0.3, but it's not coming in quite where we want. So we're just quickly going to do a slip at it so that we're not moving it around in time between different clips. Click on the Alt key, and you'll notice that our icon changes, changes to a box with two arrows inside. Just by clicking and dragging, we can see the end point and the end point right there in our video window. So we can see exactly where we're coming in and exactly where we're going out. So I think I want to uh, come in where it's real bright sunshine and go out right there in the dark shadow and there's our clip changed with different in out points playing back nice and smooth next we're going to look at how you can smooth up really slow video it's kind of a poor man's version of twixt or not quite as good but stay tuned for that next fast tip from vast